How's everybody doing this afternoon? I am very aware that it is this afternoon. Um, but I find for the most part, everybody listens or tunes in maybe when, when they get to it and nobody's really sitting around waiting for me. <laughs> so I know that. Um, anyways, I know. So, but yeah, I had, um, I had kind of an interesting uh, situation happen last night where I mm, inadvertently started channeling somebody I didn't know's mother and I, I really don't like to do stuff like that. Um, I know it makes for great TV and all kinds of other nonsense, but um, unless I have uh, made, you know, planted the intention to do something like that on purpose, I, I prefer not to. Um, so that, that threw me off this morning a little bit and I'm still a little, my allergies are, you know, kind of wonky still and I hope you guys aren't suffering like I am <laughs> with it. So, but I wanted to talk about the planets here real quick. Um, cause this week is about love. Um, the opportunities for it and the challenges surrounding it. So the planets are all kind of um, gearing us up, I guess, for the summer, I'm thinking, you know. So um, now tomorrow is probably going to be the weirdest day <laughs> because um, um, it, it there's a trine uh, with Neptune and Pisces and Mars and Cancer, so they're going to form a trine. So, um, there's so much water here, you know, with these planets in, in action that, that we might find our interactions with others to be a little bit hi hyper, hyper, uh, charged or a little bit, um, you know, emotional, in some way, shape, or form. But but what it does do is it um, activates empathy. So coming out of whatever the dialogue is and that um, this planetary trend will provide you with the insight to, to have empathy about someone's, either their behavior or where they're really coming from and that kind of a thing. So, you know, maybe take it easy tomorrow. Um, with, uh, you know, getting into too deep of conversations and, um, you know, let's avoid politics. <laughs> I try. I try to get people to um, avoid it, but some people can't help it. Anyways, and, um, you know, maybe, maybe take a little personal inventory yourself as to, you know, what have you learned or how have you um, activated empathy in your own life um, with circumstances that that you have experienced and then Wednesday whatever day that is um, what would that be oh it doesn't matter this Wednesday <laughs> right Venus is going to join Mars and cancer so Venus is a planet of love and beauty and romance and all the good stuff right um, so you know, Venus and Mars are, you know, they're compatible. You know, uh, Mars represents the masculine, Venus represents the feminine. So uh, that should invoke a lot of um, opportunities for love or for taking the next step, um, you know, things of that nature. But but what it also encourages is... is um, to speak of, you know, demonstrate the security that you're willing to provide for um, your significant other. Um, you know, there may be an opportunity for, there may be an opportunity for you to, to jump in and save the day for someone that you care about. So, uh, and then Thursday, now it gets really wonky. So Thursday, Venus and Jupiter um, make this connection, right? So all week it's going to be about love. And Jupiter is so um, spontaneous and 
um, lucky lotto ticket Jupiter. So, you know, if you're single, you might run into the perfect, you know, you might make the perfect connection with um, a potential love interest. Um, and now that just means that it's the launch pad started. It doesn't mean that, you know, oh, well, if you didn't see anybody on that day or connect with anybody on that day, you're doomed. It's just that that's the, that's the trend that is uh, in sync. So, so yeah, if that's, if that's what you're looking for, um, you know, that, that's what the planets are gonna provide this week, so. cocoa this morning so um yeah so I wanted to talk about bravery um, I thought about this all week and then as the week evolved and people and circumstances um, kept uh, falling into my path and and for me to observe or to to guide them in some way shape or form um, I wanted to talk about how how difficult it can be to be brave you know, and there's one young lady who, um, I'm not going to say her name because, you know, her, her relationship, um, or her circumstances are her own and, and her own journey and not for us to gawk and goggle, but, um, you know, that, that called off a wedding, you know, she, she pulled the plug and I, and it took a lot of guts for her to do that. You know, because by the time the invitations are out or the save the dates are out and all that, you know, you almost feel like you're being pushed into it. And, you know, everybody's watching. You know, everybody's looking. Um, and, you know, I told her I was proud of her. Not because she was supposed to hurt somebody or it had nothing to do with that. It just, it took a lot of guts for her to identify her feelings and and um, honor them, honor them. Uh, because it's sometimes it's just easier to go with the flow and then, and then you know, have these gut-wrenching um, responses or circumstances that follow afterwards. So I was proud of her. Um, but that leads me into, and I'm going to do my best to try to convey what I'm going to try to say here. That leads me into, um, another like school of thought, um, you know, where about relationships in general, you know, if, if you've come to a turning point in your life where this is no longer working for you, all right, that, that you, it's run its course. And many relationships do that. They, you know, you've put in the time, you've, you've learned. I always feel like love is like school, mm. that, um, you know, you show up with with lesson plans and textbooks and this kind of a thing and you exchange um, information and you learn and you grow from one another and you know, um, it builds your character. You are also the teacher in the relationship so you are, uh, you know, teaching people. And I, it's, I can't think back to anyone that I was in a relationship with that I didn't learn from that I didn't grow from, right? And maybe uh, a couple of them at the time when I was younger, you know, I was very resistant. I, I wanted to hang on to what was familiar, even though my gut, my heart, and my gut, you know, my spirit um, understood that there were no more, there were no more lessons to be learned from one another. And um, so there seemed to be a little bit of a running theme this week where um, people 
were hanging on to something that no longer served them, period. It, it just didn't work um, for whatever reason. And yet out of fear or convenience, they remained in this partnership. And so instead of taking a leap of faith or being brave and, and going out on their own, they were pulling the monkey branch. <laughs> so it's kind of like you got your, your, your like Tarzan and you're swinging in the tree and you're swinging back and <clears throat> swinging a little higher, you know, and you, and you got a hold of this branch here and you're, you're looking to grab and reach and got it, right? To the next set of circumstances, which then piles you right into a tree, <laughs> you know? So, you know, keeping that in mind, once you come to the realization, as scary as it may be, or as painful as it may be for you, all right, that you're being distracted by um, another suitor or you've developed a friendship that looks like it could be more or whatever the case may be, you gotta, you gotta pull the plug. You know, once you realize that there's nothing left here, right? You gotta, you gotta pull the plug. It doesn't matter. You can't invest in, well, well, if, will they, will they be there for me if I let go of this branch? Who cares? They may not be. Um, you need some downtime in between. You really do. You've joined with, you know, you've joined in a relationship thing with with someone you have you have blended resources and thoughts and and the ways that you you do things you kind of we get a little dismantled in a circumstance like that you know and we we become compliant where maybe we won't uh, we wouldn't be otherwise or we we um We overlook things that are really aggravating. And some see there too, that can be some growth. That can bring you some growth. But, you know, once you realize that you are distracted by an outside uh, source, okay, that's when you pull the plug. You got to get out of it. You do. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to them. And baggage is like bed bugs so this is an, an analogy that I made you know if you go from this space and this relationship and you you pack up your stuff and you go to this relationship without any counseling or any support or any downtime or stabilizing yourself so you're solid and you know what you want and who you are then those bed bugs are going to go into the next uh, residence right with you and then it's then you're then once you get there and everybody drops the hearts and flowers and you get down to business like who paid the electric bill you know uh who took the garbage out whatever the case may be they're gonna follow you they're gonna follow you um and the physical attractions that we that devour us right um you know they're gonna cool off as well they will so maybe they become more um i don't know comfortable right that doesn't mean that it you know anything's fizzles per se but if you don't know who you are and you're not solid before you you move into a new relationship that's all been you know shown in hearts and flowers land um 
it could even be worse than what you get out of. And many times people, you know, uh, personalities such as narcissistic, um, covert or overt um, narcissists, they, they, tr they feed in these waters, right? They look for somebody who's, who's fearful and, and who is sitting still and, and then they make these promises that, and then the trap is set, you know, not always, but um, they do exist out there. And if you don't have a clear head, um, you're not going to see, you're not going to see the semi that's about to T-bone you. You won't. So, mm. so bravery was the word that, that was popping in my head over and over and over this week. And that's what I wanted to talk about it. And I want you to take a moment today and uh, take an inventory on how many times you've been brave and, and the things that you've overcome and circumstances that, that you have to be proud of, right? So, you know, do yourself a favor. Do that today. Um, mommy. Nothing to cry about. So, um, yeah, you make a list if you have to. But, but um, embrace that. There's a good Memorial Day activity, you know. Give yourself credit for the times that you've had to have been brave in your life. Um, whatever they've been, um, whether it's an act of physical, you know, you had to run into the highway to, you know, save a puppy, or if it's, it was more the emotional piece of it where, uh, you had to take a leap of faith to honor your own wellness. Oh, look who's coming down the stairs. She was sleeping. Um, you know, for your own greater good you had to uh, rescue yourself from a situation that, that wasn't healthy um give yourself credit for being brave you know that whatever they are check in uh, you know check into that and give yourself a hug for that and you know the people you love Maybe make mention, like, you know, you know, Mom, that was really brave of you. Or, you know, Dad, that was brave of you. Or to your siblings or to your friends, that, you know. Give them a shout out for being brave, you know. Because um, everybody can benefit from a little bit of emotional support, you know. They can. So... I think she might come up and say hi to us. Oh, hold on here. I'll have to move this out of the way. Scout, you want to come on? Oh, or they can't see you over there. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. She's brave. I'll post in the in the uh, thread um, a video of her being very brave. So we, we go to Dave's doggy den and... Um, uh, for dog training, well, and for grooming and everything else. But, um, you know, she's taking some, def you know, learning some defense work. All of my German Shepherds have been through this program. So sometimes I'll put, I'll put the clip in the thread so you can watch her. But sometimes it, it can be misconstrued. Um, if, if you don't understand, um, the method of, of protection work, it, it, can, it can be perceived as something um, completely opposite of, of, of the intention and the outcome, right? So, but yeah, so she was being brave. She's really good at it. I call it inside the actor's studio master class because she knows that it's acting and she likes it. So... Anyways, that's all I had to say. Be brave. What have you been brave about? 
what circumstances were, were brought to your attention where you needed to be brave and that you actually stepped into it. And, um, you know, give yourself a little love and support for that. Dante. See, she hears me talking. She won't come in here. You know, she's out there talking away. <laughs> so she's out there talking away because she hears me talking and she can't figure out who I'm talking. Maybe I'm on the phone or something, right? So, um, just come in here. It's not like you're locked in there or anything. No, that would take effort on her part. She's crashed on the tile. She, that feels good to her. So, okay. Well, that's all I had to talk about. You know, the planets are, you know, aligning all kinds of love opportunities. So, uh, this thing on Thursday, though, with Venus and Jupiter, that that can be, on one hand, it can be um, very spontaneous and, and, you know, passionate. And on the other hand, it can be a little erratic, right? So maybe when we're swept up in the moment of something, you know, if you don't wanna if you don't wanna pay for it later, perhaps it'd be a good idea to think it through a little bit, just a little bit, you know. Um huh. anyway, so that's all I had to say. I hope you guys are staying well here. Um I I think the biggest challenge is with this integrating back into the community and everybody's version of how that what that should look like or what that's supposed to look like and that um is creating some some restlessness and anxiety and um a little bit of complications so you want to breathe through it you know and you want to slow down and you want to bring clarity and peace up here all right slow down we're kind of geared on everything being um you know in this you know faster internet faster banking you know if your lunch isn't ready in five minutes or less it's free so we've been bombarded with that dialogue for a couple decades now you know through your you know commercials and all that good stuff so so keeping that in mind um we need to slow down a little bit, you know. Take, snap the panoramic lens on, look at the entire landscape, right? Slow down and, you know, think things through. So, all right. Um, okay, that's all I have to say. Have a wonderful Memorial Weekend experience, okay? Um, Give a shout out to your loved ones on the other side. Um, you know, embrace their value, right? And be brave. Remember, our veterans were very brave. Um, so, um, but if you want, if you want to, maybe if you want to share a circumstance in the thread where you had to demonstrate bravery and you were afraid and and you or you pulled it off completely out of um knee jerk like you know warrior mode like you went into warrior mode um uh you know if you want to share that i would love to hear what what circumstances did you overcome where you needed to be brave and you did it okay so all right okay i'm signing out now mm, excuse me so stay well here take your d3 get outside connect with nature daily that will bring you peace okay that will center you i promise here she goes back up the stairs. Okay. All right. Okay. Mind, body, spirit. I love you guys. I did today at 11 or at 111 today because it adds up to three and three is healing. Three represents the mother, mother earth, healing um, emotionally, physically. And I think
think everybody could use a little bit of that. I will see you next week at 11.11. All right, love to you.